Coach Abel here along with my colleague Kevin the Machine Weiss, the Able Body Experts. We want to talk to you a little bit about our frustration with the diet and fitness industry, especially the guru-itis. And uh, what we're trying to get across here, if you haven't checked out our series of um, Why Diets Fail, make sure you check out all those. But basically, Coach, the industry dogma now, whether it's the fitness or the diet industry or the interplay between the two, which actually is doing more harm than good because it's creating what we call food stressing. Now right now it's all about the nutrient timing and when, what time of day you cut out your carbs or how much pre, peri, and post prop that paranoia. You, parano <laughs> paranoia that you have to have. And that's actually a good word because they're inducing a sense of paranoia in the actual dieter that all these things have to be meticulously controlled. Now you're on... Uh, calorie king or whatever that website is and you're making fancy graphs and everything to control your diet and all these things well if food is occupying your mind 24 7 then it's controlling you in a form of stress no matter how lean you are there should be other more important things to think about so in your life you know we've had it that the food industry and diet industry is creating what I would call a f diet drama all right they're making you think that this is some dramatic equation that must be constantly micromanaged and it's the exact opposite thing. If you really want physical transformation, you have to own your diet, not let your diet own you. You have to get past the fact where food is the constant thought of on your mind 24 hours a day in connection with guilt and shame. All right, Those aren't things that are ever going to work. Think about the things you feel guilt and shame about in your life. Do they ever work out? Do they create general positive feelings and wellness in you? No. So the industry needs to be held accountable for what it's creating in people, which is what you called uh, paranoia and panic, which is never going to lead to being happy with your food intake. You're going to be stressed about food. You're going to be stressed about how you eat, why you eat, when you eat. You're not going to understand the emotional cues which are part of what we inherited from our ancestors, that triangle of awareness, physical, mental, emotional, that allows us to be happy and satisfied with a diet that doesn't preoccupy our mind 24-7. We need less diet solutions and more food rehab coaching. And this is why coaching is so imperative. It's why I do what I do. So the industry needs to be uh, held accountable for creating diet drama and paranoia because it's never ever going to work in terms of getting sustainable long-term results. Coach? Yeah, the sustainability of a diet is never found in the minutiae of the little details of how much vitamin D is in your diet and how much vitamin Z goes with vitamin Q and, and right. in this certain uh, time frame around your workout. When or the are, stressing of these yeah, things. Yeah, and that's what makes people stress out about it. Right. Is, uh, I literally had someone email me last week and uh, they were so concerned about their about their uh, work schedule because it made it very hard for them to eat at this certain amount of time away from their workout. Like, right. and we're talking 15 minutes yeah. away from what they had normally been doing. And uh, when you start seeing stuff like that in yourself, it, it sets off a few should set off a few alarms where maybe you need to look a little bigger in the picture and not allow yourself to be forced into that position where you're micromanaging every single aspect of your diet and causing stress inside yourself over things that yes. aren't stress related really. It shouldn't have anything to do with stress. No. So if diet is a source of stress in you in terms of food, contemplation of food, contemplation of dieting, it's never going to work. And the industry makes that worse, not better. This has been a special Coach Em Up.